Hey YouTube, I modified my Honda EU 2200i, so this is the newer um, version of the Honda uh, generator. I, I modified it to run on propane and or natural gas. So uh, from the propane tank I run, this is a uh, regulator, it's a high pressure on this side, low pressure uh, after the regulator, and this came off of a, a barbecue set up. I then go into a low pressure uh, vacuum activated uh, regulator, Garrickson. I'll put that in the description. So it creates a vacuum from the motor and then it activates the um, the diaphragm in here to regulate on demand as it vacuum it it opens a valve and lets the gas and if the engine shuts off it stops because there's no vacuum um, I also have these nut and bolt here just for storage to this is the primer that you push to kind of prime it before you start it to, to run uh, some natural gas into the engine um, I uh, I'm gonna modify the access panel for the or drill a hole in the access panel for the spark plug to run this this hose through. You probably should use, you know, some gas line or something a little bit better, but uh, that's what I'm using at least for testing. Um, you you do want to run the generator with all the panels on it to keep the airflow, um, you know, moving through the uh, through the generator to keep it cool and uh, keep the generator. Uh, pieces of it cool so what I did is I uh, took a quarter inch piece of copper pipe I drilled a hole about right there in that location I fed it through and there's like a little rubber uh, piece of hose stopper I put in there I'm gonna silicone this too but um, you know, it's sticking out maybe three quarters of an inch to shove down the throat of the uh, the carburetor itself. You won't be able to put the choke on. I probably didn't need to have it this long, but that's what I decided to do, and it seems to work just fine. Um, another thing to note that I, I bought a second one of these, um, you know, carburetor filter um, pieces without the cover, and it's exact same one that fits on the EU 2000. So they're the same part number for the EU 2000 that, that, that it is for the EU 2200i. Um, so I'm going to silicone that up, screw that back on, um, and uh, do some more testing. Important piece to note here is the adjustment of here. So I ran the generator on gas, just put a little gas in there. Um, I had it in the on position. I, I moved it to the, you know, run the gas uh, fuel off position, not all the way to the off position, but the fuel off. So it started to run the gas out of the, the carburetor. And, and as soon as it started to uh, hesitate, I adjusted this nut to adjust the propane that was being, um, you know, sent. Because uh, you don't want to put too much propane and you, and you can't do too little propane to uh, get the uh, the engine to run right so that's kind of a uh, an added adapter to adjust to um, you know meter how much propane uh, is going into the engine and obviously I had some 1500 watt and another 500 watt uh, light there to do some testing so I could adjust this uh, properly the other thing I noted um, to start the engine I, I put equal mode off to run it on propane. It didn't want to start very well with eco mode on when trying to run and start it um, when it was cold from propane. So that's another thing to note. Turn eco mode off and then uh, start it and then turn eco mo mode on as needed. So hope this helps other people without having to buy the expensive, expensive kits that are out there. Seems to work for me. Thanks.